All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Heavenly Delusion episode three. In the last episode, uh, we had the revelation that Kiriko is, uh, well, apparently a man's brain or a man's personality or someone who obviously identifies as man in a woman's body. Um, it may be not that deep. It may just be as simple as that. But uh, I had the idea that possibly um, because of the world they're in, fucking freaky ass world and with the the random school type thing which seems to have like super ability kids from what I can tell I think maybe there's some kind of experimentation or something like that going on to where it's like a man's brain had had actually been put into her body or brain chemistry was altered something like that I don't know um, but I guess we'll see this episode I'm very much looking forward to it as that revelation was very cool and uh, the, the mystery of this anime just keeps on going yeah as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now. September 12th, 2034. Wow. Yeah, this is what the world is like after the collapse. Wow. Oh, shit. Bro, right, these transitions. Yeah, you're going to shank him? Damn, boy! Who the fuck is this? Got the fucking tickets or the money knocked out of him. Oh, that voice actor, it's fucking Zoro. That's cool. I think. Definitely sounds like him. Is this one of the guys from the photographs that the, um, Kiriko was looking for? Monkey, crow, and mouse. Wow, I wonder what monkey tastes like. <laughs> oh, oh, the, is that the other guy that in the photo that she's looking for? Oh shit, she fell out. Damn. So that's obviously Kiriko. Um, is that her brother? Did they mention that already? This this doc seems a bit shifty. Experimenting on humans. Oh boy. Maybe my theory was correct. Maybe she was experimented on. Why are you blushing about that? It's your sister, isn't it? Oh shit, what's happening? Yeah, kid, stay in your room. Going up against a man here. You have a crossbow. I don't think that's going to be able to kill a, a man here. They seem like heaven to me. What's that coat that she's wearing? What's with the arms? Damn. Oh, she covered in watches. <laughs> I was wondering what they were. You got hella time. You got like an hour and a half. So done it. <laughs> Why is her one the only one that's like different where she has to like lean forward with like a motorbike? Oh, what's happening? What is it? Oh shit, a monster. Can anybody even hear you right now? No. God, go to someone important. Oh god, is this where he's gonna die? Boy, you are fucking insane. You need to tell the adults about this. You can try and kill it with a screw? Bro, a fucking shotgun wasn't working on these things. Jesus. Oh, that guy was the one in um, that we saw in the last episode, wasn't it? That was asking Kiriko if that was her. What did you think was going to happen? Look at that. Shit doesn't do a thing. Oh, bro. Damn, wiped out. Oh, boy. If you don't fucking run, you got no survival instinct whatsoever. Okay, right in the eye. But it didn't do shit, did it? Oh, bro. Oh, is he becoming it like that, um, like the mother's kid did? Bro, Robin, help! Oh, is she going to drive past and see this? At least they actually stopped. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, this is such a sucky way to watch someone die. 
Good shit, but I don't think that's enough. Tell me his whole body's there. Please. Please don't say you chopped him in half. <gasps> oh no. Fuck. What? Why? Why is his eyes open? You should be very much dead right now, kid. What the fuck? Who just shot? Oh, is this the- is it these two when they were younger? What the fuck is this? Oh wait, that jacket that he had on. Is that- Kiriko's wearing that now, I think, right? Wait, what is happening here? He's still alive? What the fuck is that gunshot? What happened? What is this? This is a nightmare? You ain't got no lower half. Oh, it's like Stranger Things. Whoa. What the hell? Right, I think I get what's about to be revealed here. That's kind of fucked up. Why have they done this? They put his brain in his sister's head. Why did they kill the sister to do this? This is so fucked up. No, I don't think that's the. F I don't think that's the case at all. Yeah, he left town. Convenient. The blood on the sides of the head. That I bet that was what the gunshot was because her head wasn't damaged. Oh my! Yeah, those scars and people aren't questioning this shit, bro. I was thinking, like, it could be someone's brain in that body. Which is why when they looked in the mirror in the first episode and they saw the, like, the, obviously the girl that was naked. She, like, they kissed the mirror. But now that I realise it's a brother, it's a very weird anime moment. Murdered? What's your evidence? Ah, shit, yeah, he was in, uh, investigating the dock, wasn't he? Shit, and she doesn't even know where she where they went. This is a terrible, terrible situation. I'm still kind of pissed though that he tried to kill that thing with a fucking screw. I'm su I'm surprised the scars don't actually like show up on their head. That's some crazy ass shit right there. Oh, also, someone mentioned in the last episode that Tokyo, the the little person in the School is actually a guy, and I was just, I always thought she was a girl. You have to think of me as a man now. St still physically attracted to you, though. <laughs> oh, this is such a shit situation. I mean, he probably still likes her, but obviously she doesn't feel the same. <laughs> so I guess because he's saying now that we're both guys and you have to see me as a man from now on, I suppose it's best just to call him a him from now on, from an audience perspective. I don't know. <laughs> oh god, what is it? Is it Manita? Bro, what did I say in the last episode? Did I? Did I say it in the last episode or did I watch a reaction or something? I swear I said that, is there like fish Manitas? Yo! Oh shit, it's got... Bro! It's the fish from the art drawing with the ha with the hands. Yeah, this kid. Is he like clairvoyant or something? What is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Getting flamed by a robot. This kid really does look feminine. But like, yeah, apparently it's a dude, so... What? What? This story keeps getting crazier and crazier. I'm thinking now that we've seen this fish thing with arms, unless these kids were not born here and they were brought here, I'm thinking because it seems like each of them has their own kind of ability, that either this kid, this artist kid, is clairvoyant and has just like seen this somehow, or maybe 
would be a little bit more broken, like that anything that he draws comes to life, maybe, somewhere in the world. I don't know. But uh, yeah, the mysteries don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Uh, very cool episode. Kiriko is Har Haruki, or ha Haruki, was that his name? Um, seems like, going forward, probably best to kind of go about the, the fact that he's a dude, um, because it doesn't seem like he's, you know, it's 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 a complicated situation, obviously, and they haven't directed on whether he, he would would prefer to be called a, a man or a woman. Apart from saying, you know, you should see me as a man. But regardless, um, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, overall, a very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.